There's an old African proverb that says it takes a whole village to raise a child. Well, I am so proud and I am so blessed to have had Professor Benjamin L. Wakefall and his village help raise this child. Ben is somebody who, instead of really pursuing full on his own art career, took his time uh, to devote to lifting up the young people in his community, to helping them explore their creativity, and gave them nothing but respect. The story of Communications Village is really the story of Kingston. And it's that village, you know, creating that hub and, and bringing, you know, everybody in and, and, and everybody's being creative, everybody's being able to show, you know, their creativity. It's our mission to keep the generations connected by sharing our memories. Oh, wait, no, I don't have this anymore. This is some of our work. Oh, yeah. And, then and one of the assignments Ben sent us on, this was in Titi's backyard. He was a, a, a good guy who came in the neighborhood and says, I want to help you do get better. And that's basically how he said it, just get better. So the, a lot of times, uh, when you try to reach for perfection, you kind of lose the essence of what you're doing. So you get better with things so that you can move on. Ben was a really, really talented artist. I mean, this is someone who starts out as a painter, transitions to printmaking, and a misnomer is that he, his practice kind of stopped or ceased as he opened Communications Village. The extraordinary nature is that Communications Village is an example of social practice art. Uh, it is an example of an artist changing his individual practice and trying to make it a larger uh, collective practice. Um, and what's also, I think, extraordinary here is the other artists that Ben formed connections with that came to Communications Village um, had ties to the South like Ben. Um, they were black artists who were running their own social practice art initiatives. Social practice is a fundamental to black art practice um, and that uh, that deserves its own kind of standing or place um, within galleries. Ben had an incredible influence on people, um, perhaps in terms of technique, um, but, um, but as a printmaker, I think there was a certain type of independence that his workshop encouraged um, to create um, sort of serious conversations on, you know, the day to day. With the establishment of Communications Village, Mr. Wigfall brought new life and light into this old tight-knit community. There was magic in that place. Ben could have renovated that barn and created his own art. After all, he didn't live in Punkaki. We weren't his children, we weren't his problem. Can you imagine how beautiful this world would be if we would all just go and find a village that could benefit from our talents and our gifts, and then just encourage the people in that village and then open the village to others? 